Jones. We've got a quick wardrobe adjustment. I guess you would say that. A cosmetic, potentially, uh, in the ear of Matthew Dotson. I think we got it squared away, though. This battle scheduled for three three-minute rounds. First, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 143 pounds, holds a record of four wins with four losses, and represents Tech MMA in Blacksburg, Virginia, Matthew Dotson. And his opponent across the cage to my right, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 146 pounds, holds a record of three wins with one loss, and represents Viper Pit in Hazard, Kentucky, Stone Cold Beverly. Your referee in the action begins is Jimmy Neely. Jimmy Neely, our referee. We've been uh, excited for this one since we announced it here. My pick for fight of the night. We'll see how it goes down. We've got Matthew Dodson in the wide. It's the black and green Brazilian shorts for Stone Beverly. Oh, here we go, right out of the gate. You see Stone Beverly landing that kick, follows it up with a right kick to the leg. Stone Beverly active. Early. Oh, spinning back kick there, finds its mark. Head kick, attempt there. There we go, Stone looking to take the back of Matthew Dotson and ends up on top here with a lateral of his own. Into side control is Stone Beverly now as we're about 30 seconds into this first round. Into the mount Advancing position. to mount, opening up is Stone Beverly here. Woo! Big Woo! shots. Woo! Stone Beverly all over him, but Matthew Dotson working his way back yeah, up. Battling back is Matthew Dotson. Very important. Oh, utilizing those elbows to the body, perfectly legal in amateur mixed martial arts, just not to the head. Or the spine. Look at that, you see Dotson trying to turn him again, and ends up in a tough spot, continues to take those shots. Takes his back now. Dodson trying to control the wrist, trying to control the hands. But now two hooks in. Stone Beverly looking to do damage from the back now with Matthew Dodson. And I will say this, Stone Beverly's work rate is so persistent and so fast, but he never gets tired. We saw him in that bout with Chase Boutwell to the end. He continued to toll away in battle. And look he doesn't at that. stop working. Yeah, he's got that position, using those spurs to the leg. A nice kid, a nice kid outside of the cage. Oh, absolutely. Both these Beverly brothers are. And uh, look, working maybe for a uh, oh, big really shot. The choke doesn't look like, does he? He wants to pound him Those out. are hard, big shots. Dotson's going to have to get moving here. And now, for the first time, Stone Beverly on bottom, but he secures the triangle, opening up here. I see a little blood. I do too. And that is tight. Yeah, that is tight. And now Stone possibly, I thought he was going to look for the arm bar. He just opened up yeah, the face for more strikes. Working. We're down to the final 30 seconds here. Will Dotson be able to hang on? Dotson props to him for lasting through that triangle choke. That looks really, really tight. But he is taking abuse in every area of this fight. Down to the final 15 seconds now. Jimmy Neely watching it closely. Stone wants this finish, you can tell. Elbows to the body. Adding up, Jimmy Neely really close to stepping in, and there's the bell. A lot of punishment took by Dodson there in the final minute. Yeah, not just to the face, plenty to the to face, the but it's too. all over. To the, to the midsection, from the spinning back kick, to the elbows, to the legs, and to the body, and then of course that vicious ground and pound, both from mount and underneath, and the triangle choke, just relentless, is the youngster Stone Beverly, just 18 years of age here. You look at the replay here, Stone Beverly really opening up yeah. from the mount. And again, props to Dotson because most men would have crumbled under that alone. Beverly keeps such a pace in there. Looks like he is uh, no worse for the wear here in the corner in between rounds. Mark Law is doing work over here on Matthew Dotson. 
he really didn't do too much wrong. It's just a, it's just a, uh, an, an assault uh, from Beverly. You know, it's more yeah, you have to react. And Stone's not going to slow down. He's going to continue this pace. I mean, that's how he trains. That's how he fights. He's, his body's been conditioned to do this for years now. That being said, Dotson's absorbed everything that Stone could possibly throw at him. So if he's you know, can find a way to get back on his horse, he may have a chance here. But if he continues to, to come out uh, um, flat, if you will, it's just going to be all Stone Beverly, and he's going to continue to take more punishment. What's going on here? I think it's a done deal. And is it over? I think, I think he, they may be calling it here. I, and if they are, I don't blame him because that was a lot of punishment. Oh, here. maybe to the. Let's see. Looks like there's some debate here. I'm not exactly sure what the final verdict is. We'll wait on this one, Casey. I'm uh, not sure what's happened here. I would have to imagine that Dotson has opted not to continue. Maybe verbal submission. Well, we'll find out what the official decision is now. Let's hear from Jennifer. Your referee stops this fight at one second into round two for your winner by way of verbal submission out of the blue corner, Stone Cold Beverly.